In this video, I will guide you on how to perform this experiment on states of matter. Finding the mass and volume of solid matter. I will upload these worksheets for free. Just click on the description link below. This experiment has two parts. One, measuring the mass. And two, measuring the volume. We have geometrical shaped object and a known shaped object. And the last part will be our guide questions. So let's begin. Finding the mass and volume of matter. Before we begin, let us define what is mass. Mass is the amount of matter in an object. Its amount stays the same in any of the three states or at any places on Earth. The unit of mass is gram or kilogram. How about volume? Volume is the space that an object or a substance takes up. The unit of volume is cubic centimeter. So measuring the mass of solid matter. We have these objects, your book, an empty tissue box, milk box, rock samples, and marble. So we are going to get the mass of the following objects. How to do that? Let's look at this video. So you are going to place your object on the weighing scale. Get the mass and write it on your worksheets. Once you're done, we can go now to part two. Part two, measuring the volume. First, we will get the volume of objects with known shape, or we call them geometrical shaped objects. So how to get the volume? So first, we need to get the width, the length, and the height. And what formula are we going to use? Volume is equal to width times length times height. And you are going to write your answers here. For the science book, this is the length. Do not be confused. This is the height. And this is the width. For the milk box, this is the height the width, and the length. For the tissue box, this is the length, the height, and the width. Next, finding the volume of unknown shaped objects. So how do we do that? We need to find the volume of the water before putting the object. Then, the volume of the water after we put the object inside the graduated cylinder. Then, we need to subtract volume 2 minus volume 1. And we are going to write the answers here. So let's begin. Pay attention to our video. This is our rock sample. What is the volume of the water? 
before we put the rock. And after we put the rock, what is the volume of the water? So let's look at that closely. This is volume 1. And this is volume 2. Next. Number 2. Pay attention to the video. This is volume 1. And here, we are going to put a hard-boiled egg. Watch closely. So, what is volume 2? Okay. One more time. This is volume 1. And this is volume 2. This is 250. And this is 300. And the water is here. Next. Let's go to the third one. This is volume 1. And we are going to put the marble. Look closely. And this is volume 2. Okay, one more time. This is volume 1, and this is volume 2. So let us find out if your answers are correct. Rock, what is volume 1? 30. And volume 2? 35. What is your answer? 5 cubic centimeter. How about the egg? What is volume 1? 200. What is volume 2? 265. And what is your answer? 65 cubic centimeter. How about the marble? Volume 1 is 20. Volume 2 is 22. And the answer is 2 cubic centimeter. Next, you may answer the following guide questions. Number one, what unit is used to measure the mass of matter? Number two, what unit is used to measure the volume of matter?